Kant's Three Stages of Society and Theory of Positivism, a Sociological Exploration. August Kant, a prominent French philosopher and sociologist of the 19th century, made significant contributions to the development of sociology with his theories on the evolution of society and the application of scientific principles to social phenomena. In this detailed analysis, we delve into Kant's seminal work, exploring the intricacies of his theory of the three stages of society and his theory of positivism, while providing examples and insights to elucidate their relevance in contemporary society. Historical Context to fully understand Kant's theories, it's crucial to grasp the historical context in which they emerged. The 19th century was a period marked by rapid industrialization, urbanization, and social upheaval. Traditional religious and philosophical explanations for the natural world and social order were increasingly questioned, leading to a growing interest in rational inquiry and empirical observation. Against this backdrop, Kant sought to develop a systematic approach to understanding society that mirrored the scientific advancements of the time. The three stages of society. Kant proposed that human societies evolve through three distinct stages of intellectual development, each characterized by different modes of thinking and social organization. The theological stage. In the theological stage, human beings explain natural phenomena and social order through supernatural forces and religious beliefs. Examples of this stage can be found in ancient civilizations where gods and deities were believed to govern the natural world and human affairs. For instance, in ancient Egypt, the pharaoh was considered a divine ruler, and religious rituals were central to societal organization. The metaphysical stage as societies progress, they transition to the metaphysical stage, where supernatural explanations are replaced by abstract concepts and philosophical speculation. While still rooted in religious thought, this stage sees the emergence of rational inquiry and philosophical questioning. The Enlightenment period in Europe exemplifies this stage, with thinkers such as René Descartes and John Locke questioning traditional religious dogma and advocating for the use of reason and observation in understanding the world. The positive stage, according to Kant, the final stage of societal development is the positive stage, characterized by the application of scientific principles and empirical observation to understand the world. In this stage, human beings abandon religious and metaphysical explanations in favor of empirical evidence and rational inquiry. Examples of the positive stage can be seen in modern societies where scientific knowledge and technological advancements play a central role in shaping social, political, and economic systems. Theory of Positivism Central to Kant's sociological framework is his theory of positivism, which emphasizes the importance of applying scientific methods to the study of society. Positivism asserts that social phenomena can be studied and understood using the same empirical principles that govern the natural sciences. By adopting a positivist approach, Kant believed that sociologists could uncover the underlying laws and principles governing social life, leading to the improvement of human society. Example a contemporary example of positivism in action can be found in the field of criminology, where researchers use empirical methods such as statistical analysis and observational studies to understand patterns of criminal behavior and develop effective crime prevention strategies. By applying positivist principles, criminologists can identify risk factors associated with criminal behavior and implement evidence-based interventions to address social problems. Legacy and Criticisms, Kant's theories have had a profound impact on the development of sociology as a discipline, influencing subsequent generations of sociologists and shaping the way we understand social phenomena. However, his ideas have also been subject to criticism, particularly regarding the deterministic nature of his theory of societal development and the limitations of applying scientific methods to the study of human behavior. Criticism one criticism of Kant's positivist approach is its tendency to overlook the subjective and cultural dimensions of human experience, focusing solely on observable phenomena and measurable outcomes. Critics argue that this narrow focus neglects the complexity and diversity of human societies, 
reducing social phenomena to quantifiable data points and potentially oversimplifying complex social processes. Conclusion In conclusion, August Kant's theories of the three stages of society and positivism represent foundational contributions to the field of sociology, offering a systematic framework for understanding the evolution of human societies and the role of science in social progress. By exploring Kant's ideas and providing examples to illustrate their relevance, we gain valuable insights into the historical forces shaping modern society and the ongoing quest for knowledge and social improvement. While Kant's theories may have their limitations in critics, their enduring legacy continues to inspire sociologists and researchers to explore new avenues of inquiry and deepen our understanding of the social world.